What's up YouTube? Mike here doing a, another tutorial video for you. But this one's on recording and basically streaming the Facebook. Uh, I did a live stream of Fortnite the other night and a lot of people are asking me how do how do you get, how do you stream to Facebook? How do you stream to you know Twitch or Mixer? What do you, what are you using and what do you do? And so this is this is how I do it. It's very simple. It cost effective. Eh, it depends. Depends on what you got. So let's get started. So what I use is a Elgato HD60. Uh, for information, this is what one looks like. This is what I'm using right here. Uh, basically, you plug in your Xbox into this. Output goes to your TV or your your monitor, or whatever you're using. And then there's a micro USB that goes in your computer. Now, I picked this out after numerous research and I thought this was the best choice and I love it and it works great so far uh, another program that I'm actually using right now to record this video is OBS right here software you can download it it's free and the thing is you're gonna need a decent computer I'll put the link in below of what I use as a, uh, a computer you know the specs so you can see what I run and then you can basically go from there. But one of these costs you about, you know, 150 bucks. You probably find one, maybe 100 bucks. But I got mine at Best Buy, so that's what I got. So once you get one of these all hooked up and everything, you have to go to their website, Ogato's website, right here. I already got it linked up. This is their website, as of 2017, December 1st, the day this video was made, December 2nd. I lied. But right here is the one you want. I have Windows, so this is the one I'm going to pick. I don't know if there's any other versions, but this is the one you're going to want to pick. Download this one. Ignore this. And then once that's all set and downloaded, you're going to open it up. This is what it's going to look like. You'll get a sound capture. I don't use it. But this is, this is what the icon's going to look like. You double-click it. Opens right up. As you can see, I have the I have everything already set up. You know, it's, it's, it's already set. It's ready to go. All you gotta do is stream and it's done. But at first, if you don't have like your console plugged in, it's gonna be black. It's not gonna show anything. So as soon as you turn your console on, your your gaming screen's gonna go black and then it'll pop back up and then uh, it'll pop up on here. So don't freak out if it goes black. I, I freaked out for a second and I realized it's just adjusting. So, but once you get to this part, you know, you're not, you might have an overlay, you might not. Depends on, you know, your skill level. I created all this by myself. Added it. Looked a bunch of stuff up on how to do it. It's, it's honestly not that hard. Really, it's not. Just look up some videos. That's what I did. YouTube is your best friend. Google is your best friend. But to get the Facebook. Now, a lot of people are like, how do you get the Facebook? So right here, uh, live streaming. You want to hit this. This is what you want to look at. So you're going to hit this add account. You have a bunch of options. There's Restream, Ustream, you know, Mixer, Twitch, YouTube. But here's Facebook. Now I have a page and I want to stream to the page, but that's a custom URL. That's not like, you know, the Facebook button, which can go to your page, but it dumbs it down frame weight wise. You know, I want 60. You always want 60, but it only goes 30. So I use the the custom URL right here. Pops this screen up. Name it whatever. We're gonna do test stream. Then you're gonna want to go to your Facebook. Mine's already open. This is my page, my Facebook page. Start live video. Connect. And then your URL and your stream key will pop up. Now. You don't want to give this information out for obvious reasons because then someone can stream to your page. You know, they can use that. That's not good. But basically just come in here, control C, which is copy. You are right there. Go back for the stream key. Control C. Control V and then hit add. Now, once that's set and done, that's on to the next thing. So you're gonna want you're going to want to put in like your webcam. So let's say, let's put it on our webcam and then we'll put in our audio. So I got a blank one right here. Go to edit scenes. Edit scenes. There you go. Go down to this little thing right here. 
there's my webcam pops up you can make it however big you want it and then you're gonna hit save scenes and then there you go but for, for purposes that's how you get the webcam you can move it however you want it once it's in you know edit mode down here snaps so we'll save it now next is your microphone so you're gonna want commentary on right here this button right here click it boom see it moving that's my microphone I'm using a pair of turtle beaches x12s boom right there that's the microphone for it you go into your your sound you know right here if, you, if life would let me stop being a pain there we go sounds pull up your recording there's your microphone make that your default that's how you get that all set up uh, right down here is the mute button for uh, your microphone and your audio in general so you're gonna want to turn that on depending on how you want it depend off depending on how you want it mine's off right now because it'll just start doubling everything on the video right now so I want it off but for purposes it's off but that's how you get your microphone that's how you get your live stream game audio is basically you know what you hear right now switch and do you can hear it popping up and then that's it basically bare bones so you can go down to stream click the stream button start streaming to Facebook you're on air now you see it not pop up you just have to exit out come back in for the webcam doesn't work sometimes but you just keep playing with it go to your Facebook boom pops up there it is look at that BAM Alabama there's your Facebook and then you come in you do your description you add your title you want tags for any video like the more tags the better that's how I get most of my viewers uh, and then just whatever game you're playing Fortnite for example and then you just go live that's it it's all you do that is literally all you do to stream the Facebook that's how I do it you can do it any other way you want you can use OBS software it's it's just all preference but that's how I do it it works for me I I haven't seen any problems with it so far I thought I like it videos come out good quality is good you know if your internet speeds good basically your upload that's what you use to stream is your upload the faster that is the better quality your videos will be I only get like five to six megs up so therefore I can I use 720 at 60 frames I'm happy with it but that's it that's that's how you stream the Facebook it's that easy so if you guys got any questions or whatnot shoot them in the comments below I'll answer back I always got my phone on me everything goes right to my phone uh, go to my page I see it instantly so any questions shoot them there shoot this video a like subscribe for more information and basically have a good night that's it